everybody. Happy Saturday. Uh, had to go into work a little bit this morning, but now I'm home. Uh, decided I'd take some time and download the videos from some of our Smoky Mountain trip and also uh, address a couple things that uh, have been asked of me. Um, this is where all the magic happens, by the way. You can see all the workstation and all that right now. That's where we're at. But um, on our trip, we just got back from the Smoky Mountains. Uh, you guys will be seeing that video soon. Uh, I'm going to start editing it uh, this week. Jeep Wrangler is my other toy, my other, I really love that thing. And you'll be seeing that a little bit on the videos as well as we, uh, we trailered uh, going to the Smoky Mountains and we did some exploring with the Jeep and the, uh, and the, and the Versus. So because of that wonderful trailer right there. But what we're going to talk about today is this, the V-Stream windscreen for the Versus 1000. I uh, wanted to get something that was a little smaller than the OEM version of the windscreen. And the reason being was, uh, well, there was a couple reasons, right? So the OEM screen, believe it or not, on the outside rim, like right along here, was starting to fade, look like sun colored, uh, which I didn't really like. And also it's much wider. I'll put a picture in here so you can see how wide it was, but much wider than this. Uh, I wanted something a little smaller to give me a little more wind uh, because as you guys know, we're in Arkansas and in the summertime, it gets a tad warm. So, um, and this V-Stream windscreen really does the uh, deed for us. So that's a little more air in on the sides. I love how it looks, very aerodynamic. It actually gives the bike a little menacing look, uh, which is kind of cool. Even though again, uh, a lot of people are concerned about looking through it. I'm six foot two. I don't look through any of the windscreens, even if this is in the highest position, I don't look through it. Uh, so that's, uh, that's always a good bonus. Uh, it is pretty dark, so if you did have to look through it, it would kind of a, probably be a challenge. But again, I don't have to, so I don't have to worry about it. And it, uh, it looks really good. The price was, I think, 129 I could be wrong. Uh, I'll put a link in the description and all that down below. Uh, very easy to install. I will say, if you notice the way these are going right now, I want to say that somebody on the Versus 1000 board uh, caught me. I put them on the wrong side when I first put this on. So I had this over here and this over here. It still worked, but it didn't go with the flow of the thing. I didn't even notice it, to be honest with you, uh, until he pointed it out. So uh, thank you for, I forgot who that was, but thank you. So we'll talk about this a little bit on the ride tomorrow, just so you get some ride footage of it. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Hope you all are doing well on this Sunday. Jamie and I have been out, done a little 180-mile uh, loop, had some breakfast. Now we're just headed home, just left Eureka Springs. We're back from our trip, and it was a fantastic trip. You'll be seeing more videos on that soon. Uh, I'll start editing those this week, but it was a fantastic trip. Uh, I'll put some pictures at the end of this uh, video to kind of whet your appetite for what went on. But boy, it was a fantastic eight days. So one of the reasons I'm doing this video today is I'm talking about the windscreen, our V-Stream tinted windscreen for the 2019 Kawasaki 1000 Versus. Had a lot of people asking about the functionality of it. And uh, so I thought I, uh, I did a little garage part of this yesterday, but I knew I'd be out riding today. So I wanted to give you all a little performance from the saddle itself. So as you can see, it is uh, a little smaller than the OEM screen. The OEM screen is a little wider, uh, not nearly as it's, it's about three inches shorter, but it's a lot wider. Really kept the air off of you. Uh, unfortunately, in the summertime in Arkansas, that's not a good thing. So I wanted something that was uh, going to let a little more air in. Also, the disappointing thing with the OEM windscreen was it started to turn yellow on the outside, on the rim, you know, right here, uh, which was a little frustrating uh, just because it's only a year old. Uh, but uh, it just started looking really old and dingy. So I started looking for windscreens. Really like the Givi. Uh, unfortunately, the Givi was back ordered. It couldn't get it. And I'm not a very patient individual, so I thought I would uh, go look for other options. 
and I found the V stream. And to be honest with you, I'm glad I did because I love the look of this. Um, you know, and, and believe it or not, folks, looks do count for windscreens. I had a guy kind of blast me a little bit when I posted pictures on Instagram. And he's just like, you know, we don't care about what it looks like. We care about the functionality. I mean, each to your own, but I care about both. I care about what it looks like on the bike and how it works. So I will say I think it looks badass. It looks really good on the motorcycle. Excuse my language. Uh, but uh, after... Having it now for 3,000 miles, I have to say the functionality is very good as well. It uh, gives me a little more air on the sides, which is good. Like today, it's 84 degrees and probably 80% humidity. Uh, it's nice to have a little bit of air running around. It's in its lowest position right now. And as you can see, I can easily look over. over. Even in the highest position, look, I'm 6'2". Even in the highest position, I can... Uh, I can pretty much uh, see over it all the time, so that's not a problem. So, because I don't like to look through the screen itself, uh, which I don't think anybody does, to be honest with you. So, just kind of sink that in. So yeah, so the windscreen itself is—I really like it. Um, does a great job. It. Um, Again, for three seasons, it's going to be fabulous. I think when it gets really cold, uh, I'll probably put the OEM one back on it um, just because it does give you a good envelope behind the shield and you don't get any air. So that's kind of nice when it's really cold. But for uh, spring, summer, and fall, I think this is going to, be, uh, going to be great. I'm going to put the link and everything in the description down below. Um, there's a number for this. and I, Look, I didn't something but you'll see it down below uh, the shield was less than 150 bucks very easy to put on um, you guys will laugh when you uh, I'll put the picture in here in fact I'll put it right where it's on now I put the uh, brackets on backwards so uh, actually somebody who saw one of the videos mentioned it so I thought that was kind of funny I had put them on the wrong side uh, but yeah, so they mentioned that. But now they're fixed. And uh, but again, uh, it's a great. It's been a great uh, addition to the bike. I think it looks really good. Had a lot of comments on it. It really adds to the dark uh, part of the bike, which is kind of nice. Um, looks really clean up front. I like the lines of it. I know that uh, I'm gonna get Jamie on here, and I know she's got some comments for it. You there? I'm here. Say hi, hi everybody. everybody. Hello. Happy Father's Day. So we were just talking about the uh, windscreen, so I wanted to get your thoughts. So about the functionality, what do you think of the windscreen? Uh, to be honest, I don't feel a lot from it either way. Um, although, like we talked on our trip in North Carolina, you had it part of the way up and I wasn't getting any air into my helmet and today because it's been all the way down I'm actually getting air so right so you're not getting any buffeting or anything no not at all yeah, you got a big lug in front of you just blocking all your air <laughs> right but with past windscreens that's made a difference those have made a difference and this I don't like, I don't get any buffeting. On past bikes, I did. So good. Yeah. So it was well worth the money? Sure. <laughs> I try to convince myself of that all the time. And uh, <laughs> it looks cool, though, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, you gotta admit it, we it, got that dragon on it. Yeah, it looks Oh, yeah, folks. We also got a little dragon on it from being in Deals Gap last week. So, man, it's crazy. We were there last week, weren't we? Yep. And, uh, yep, and slayed the dragon on the, on the orca. Yep. So we've done, <laughs> so we've done, yeah. So the deals gap thing, we've done it on every motorcycle together. So that's kind of cool. Yep. And, ooh, this guy's getting it a little bit. And uh, but so cool. So I just wanted to get Jamie on here, let her tell you that from a pillion's perspective, it seems to be working okay. Yeah, I don't. I mean, like I said, other bikes, I have been sucked in to you depending on the position, and with this one, I'm not. 
Cool. So there you got it, folks, from an expert pillion. <laughs> She's so glad I spent the money on this wind strain. I think he's trying to convince me, considering I don't know how much it costs. It was nothing, like $20. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The yeah, actual, nothing, nothing in motorcycling is $20. Exactly. The actual price will be listed in the description below. But, uh, hey, we hope you do like what you see. Uh, smash the button, ring the bell, do all that YouTube stuff. Uh, like I said, we'll start getting the videos edited uh, this week probably. And uh, I'll start getting them out. Jamie did a great video on the tent. So we'll be editing that as well. And unfortunately for those of you who are on this channel just for the motorcycle content, we are going to have, a, I think, one episode that's going to be the Jeep edition where we were out on the Jeep for a day and a half. So you can ignore that or you can watch it. Whatever oh, you, you should do. watch it because there were some pretty amazing uh, uh pathways that we went on. There was. So it was very scenic. And so, Beautiful scenery. And plus, we're involved, so it's <laughs> got to be fantastic. Right. And, uh, so, all right, everybody. It looks like we're going to we looks like we're gonna beat the rain home, so that's good. Uh, a couple weeks from now, I'll be heading to Mount Sterling, Kentucky for the MSTA rally. Sorry, I know it's a double yellow line, but I'll take that out of the video. Um, yeah, so in a couple of weeks we'll be going to, or I'll be going to Mount Sterling, Kentucky for the Red River Gorge Rally. Uh, Jamie, unfortunately, is not going to be able to go. She's got her Pampered Chef virtual... Virtual annual conference. Conference, so... And this is the 40th anniversary, so it's going to be big. They're going to release new products. I'm excited. So if you need any Pampered Chef stuff, just hit me up. We can, uh, we can take care of it for that um, if you guys have any questions comments just shoot me a note uh, we'll be posting on Instagram and all that we've got some big news about a couple tours we're going to be doing next year uh, so stay tuned and uh, you guys have a great Father's Day talk to you soon ride safe bye, bye guys